What's going on, Duelists? I'm about to start my week two of War League. Our team lost week one, but we won the first game of our week. I'm playing Sanchan's Machina deck, and I played this deck a lot maybe a month or so ago, I want to say. I really like this deck. I really like Camsters, Rykos, and I love Gear Frame Fortress Double Force. I think Avarice is sick. I love traps in the main deck fossil warrior lady. This deck is just the triple book. I can't even get through a sentence. You put the Rykos, the hamsters back down. It's just so easy to generate plus with this deck if played intricately. You have your Gale, you just have like nice little nifty cards that that generate plus and I like it a lot. I'm actually gonna message my opponent now and tell him I'm ready to go. also wanted to take a good look at it because I haven't played it in a while. Only, I think I played it once at the, at the YCS for a fun game. Machina Unlimited, two out of three. Yes sir, yes sir. Oh, we're about to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Mentally. I love this deck. I said I was going to switch up in my head at work today. I was like, I said week one I was going to switch up my rock, paper, scissors. So this week I was going to go back to rock, which is what I normally pick. They draw and pass, and I think I want to see it before I attack. I think they probably have an MSC or a heavy or something, but I still want to see it. Yeah, they do. Oh, that's a pretty good hand. Um, It's not amazing. I mean... Wow, they have heavy. They're gonna freaking OTK me right now. This is insane. Wow, that's a crazy hand. I guess Shura, because then they could start going sick. Yeah. Heavy brain. Soroko. Blizz. X. Blizz. Kalu. X2. Heavy Brain, Sorogo, Blizz, two Kalutes. That shoot's so good. Well, he's gonna get his plus now, but I think that's fine. He's gonna keep uh, two Kalutes in his hand, but I also think that's fine. And we have... Uh, but, yeah, that's... Whew, heavy's a problem. Maybe I should've waited, but if you think you would've heavied, I would've been able to chain. I kind of told myself to, to play smart like that, and then I didn't. But at least if I do this, I could. Yeah. I could pop the Sirocco. Now Blizzard doesn't do too much, and the Kaloots don't do anything. I might just set heavy right here to bait out their heavy, but I don't think they're gonna make a play next turn if they don't top deck something good. So if he colutes this, then we still pop it with Fortress. And if he doesn't, then he just has colutes in his hand and Fortress stays on the field. One more gear frame to get a force, or even top decking a force would be good. And so it goes up to 34. I take 9. And I think I'm actually going to set heavy here because I know he has brain, blizzard, 
He's probably going to clear out the heavy first. If he draws a trap, then that sucks. But, I mean, maybe I could set Pot of Avarice, but... Hopefully we draw a Raikou or a Hamster next turn. That'd be ideal. Got to make him think for it a little bit. He's checking us. If he has Blizzard Dark Arm, that's just horrendous. But I feel like he'll heavy first if he has that. Yeah, I really hope he doesn't have Dark Arm. Or a Trap for that matter. But even a Monster, if he has it right now, is pretty bad. Top deck, Shura. That's fine. That's a really good top deck. Because now I could Kalu over it. And get a value to go with that Sirocco. Yep, so now he has a Blizzard. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Blizzard brain control. But Raikou or Hamster is still kind of like... Solves the problem, I think, even if they have a value in Graveyard. I guess that's not terrible. Out of all the monsters it could have been, I guess that being sure isn't that bad. What would you like to make, yeah? Nothing. Gotta make something. Oh, if he makes Caddister, it'd be so nice with the Cyber Dragon and the Pot of Avarice. Aw, oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Let me get a friggin' hamster or something, or a Raikou or something. DD Warrior Lady. MST, dude. Let's get it. That is awful. They have a Blizzard. They got this all set up. And they have Brain Control. This is so bad. I think we're gonna play it patiently. <laughs> we're gonna play a little, a little crazy. I want them to work for it a little bit. They're not just gonna slam cards now, I don't think. Maybe the Sirocco Vayu. I hope they don't do it, but then they could summon Blizzard and, and follow it up. But I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna. They are playing a little. A little aggressive, I think. They're playing perfectly for what I have so far. I'm trying to make the best of it. I really regret not flipping the, the Dushu, or uh, flipping the Dushu as opposed to waiting. That's unfortunate. It seems like there's nothing I could do. It seems like all the damage is going to happen, and that's just unfortunate, but might have to slay my Cyber Dragon next turn into one of their mons, and unless he just top deck Dark Arm too, then that's just insane. Maybe turn the Android to defense mode? Blizzard and brain control. Yeah, I, Hamster or Ico would just be so good. So good. And I have to waste this book right now. Yeah, I don't know what I could draw to put me in a good spot right now. I know everything he has, I just can't do anything about it. Well, we need a trap, right? That's a really good card to see, but we need a trap. We tribute Cyber. Tribute Cyber. Mikaias the Armed Wing. He has a Blizzard and a Brain Control. I really gotta draw something good. And I have no other play, right?
need something good right here to stop a blizzard. Oh, that's one of them's good. One of them's good. Gear frame next turn, we're real good. Or a fortress, we're real good. Not blizzard, brain control. Hopefully, he drew a Sirocco or something. He just drops Dark Arm. Oh, good night. Good night. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, it depends what he does, right? I guess I have to book my own Kaius if he brains, even though I don't want to do Or, I don't have to. I don't have to. Oh, he might just attack. Oh, holding the brain control is so nice. He pitches up star to return the back row. Well, I kind of have to do this, right? Can't do that because I need brain controls and attacks for game. But if he pitches that last card, then he puts me at 100. It's pretty bad. I don't know how I could win this game. Might just put it back in my hand and swing. If he does that, that's not the right play. He has to attack right now and keep the brain control. Absolutely has to do that. Otherwise, I could top deck something crazy. He's thinking about it to put me at 100. He's th Oh, darn it. I thought he was. I really thought he was. Yeah, now I'm just for him to be able to put something back next turn with brain control. I don't know. That's a really good top deck, but he has to top deck a monster right here to win. He has a lot of monsters. Brain control the monster back. Summon attack, attack. Oh, don't have a monster. Don't have a monster. He's thinking about it. Maybe he's gonna think I don't want to waste the monster or the card that I just. Oh, he did think that, but he's gonna put the Raiko back. Oh, that brain control is just killer. Killer, killer. But he's not drawing a monster, so I just have to hope again he doesn't draw a monster. Another upstar goblin. Interesting. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. That's a really good card to draw. Oh, my goodness. That's a good card to draw. Woo! Woo! You got brain control and a mystery card. I gotta keep that Raikou set until I draw Heavy. Oh, Heavy's gone. Heavy MSTR gone. I set my Heavy early in the game. Oof. Nerve rack. Dude, Raikou's so good. Interesting, interesting. If he goes Sirocco brain control it makes me pop my own fortress if I draw a gear frame I will be in really good shape really good shape unless he drew Gale then we get the he could set the brain control right yeah definitely think he drew a monster this turn that's good. Oh, that's a nice card to draw. Bottomless Sidra Force with a brain control in hand. I need another monster now, or something to protect myself. Oh, that's. That'll do, I guess. I don't want it to do, but. Well, shuffle my hand with one card in it. If I summon the Gale, I swing for 38, then he has brain control. And he could take the Gale. 
have the fortress. I won't hit a card out of his hand because he'll probably set them if it's a monster he wins anyway. And if I set the gale and he brain control and he draws another monster then he's just going to go for game. If he takes the fortress and attacks over the gale then we keep the fortress. I just have to hope he doesn't draw a monster. Or he could just brain control and attack over gale for game you freaking dipshit. What an idiot. See how we almost lose the game? <laughs> it's so stupid. All the critical thinking this entire time and drawing cards and trying to make it work and then just getting to this point and being like, I'm going to summon Gale. I know they have brain control. This much minus this much is this much. I lose. Yeah, if he brain controls and takes it. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I, now I need another monster. He runs it over and look, oh, he does attack this. Oh my god, I could pop the brain control and be alive. I gotta get rid of the brain control, right? I mean, 100%. Oh my god, if he attacked the Gale, he would have been okay. Oh, that's a pretty fucking good card, too. Oh, I'm not supposed to swear. Or a blizzard. Oh, I didn't take the fifty. Flip it half attack attack or set the fossil dyna. Then he attacks over that and I lose. Eighteen fifty, put them at thirty fifty. All right, hopefully just some crappy back row now. Oh, we'll take that. We will gladly take that. Crappy back row or Blizzard, but then you get the tackle. That's still good if it's Blizzard. Gosh, if we win this game one, that'd be insane. That would be so insane. It is Blizzard. That's fine. That's fine. He's not on. It's rough. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting so nervous. Crappy back rows. Crappy back rows. Herbora. How many monsters can you have left? Gear frame. Soon. Please, gear frame. Don't have another monster. Oh my god, ask and you shall receive, dude. How on earth did we just win this game? earth did we just win that game <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy Whew. I need a minute after that that was so intense that was so nerve-wracking that was nerve-wracking as hell Wow that was crazy 
Uh, what if he puts in Sidras for my Sidras? I don't, they're pretty good. They put the nice black wind pressure on. Lila seems pretty good. Warrior Lady seems good. I'm putting in Dust. I don't think I need Lila. Warrior Lady seems good. Books. All these cards seem so good. These are a good six cards to put in. I just need six cards to take out. A book of charge and a Raikou. Call it like that. Or what's the sixth card that's coming out? Dust you, Mirror Force, Lila, Fossil, Book, and keep charging. Let me see what this looks like. Compulse is good, but Deep Prison does the job against Black Wings better, I think. I almost want to take out one side draw for the charge. I don't want to leave Cyber Dragon on the field. He's putting in oppressions enough, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. I think that's probably fine. I love that hand. I love this hand. Can't go wrong with Hamster, even if it's a Sirocco. I could just set Torrential. Could just set Warrior Lady. Warrior Lady's pretty good. Warrior Lady Dust doesn't seem awful, because we get the Sirocco out of there. I'm okay with that. I'll save him. Even though Hamster's like the best when they have an open field, I really think Warrior Lady's better sometimes. Especially when they're... I, I messed up last game by flipping the Dust Shoot, I think, so quickly. I think I would have preferred them to play something like a Heavy Storm. And it seems like they probably would have. And I think I jumped the gun a little bit. So I think we're good here getting this removed. You know, we could dust a gores or dust gores next turn if uh if it comes to that. Oh. Uh do I wanna chain dust? Chain dust and set torrential. That way they don't know it's torrential. Keep him thinking. I keep him guessing what that back row is. I don't want him to see it. Hamster's looking real good. I'd love to keep Hamster, but this deck is so good. I mean, he doesn't want to deal with Gores, I don't think. He probably could more easily than a Hamster, I think. And, I mean, Fortress isn't doing much right now. But once I top deck a gear frame, Fortress is going to look really good. And then we could just start, start top decking Forces and uh, gear frames. Lone Dust Tornado. Alright, so he went first 5 to R5 when we draw. Shout out to Ben. Always making fun of me for saying that shit, but it's important to know. The game is even. Yeah, so they don't do nothing. I shuffled my deck, right? <laughs> I definitely did. <laughs> I got Pot of Avarice. You know what I'm saying? This boy. I'll check the log real quick to make sure that I did. Shuffle deck. Showed him, shuffled him, shuffled deck. Sure did. That's a nifty draw. <laughs> it's a damn good draw, you know what I'm saying? 
All right, he knows we got gores. He knows everything. Dude, hamster's so good, dude. Torrential dust, heavy storm. Yep, 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 yep. Trap dust shooting deep prison was what we hit. <clears throat> Let me get a little gear frame. Let me see a little gear frame. Let me see a back row that I could pop with the Rycon. Let me see a little gear frame. This deck's been giving me everything I ask for, for the most part. And when it hasn't, it's been giving him stuff like the Upstart Goblins and stuff. Oh, that's still a good card for me, I think. I think, I think, I think. I don't have to do anything, right? I could just let him attack into it. Or I could flip it. Start going for damage, but I don't have a good feeling about that because I'd rather keep him. Oh, unless he has Bora. Or do you just go Sirocco Bora? Or can I just flip this? Hmm. I could just go Fortress, Fortress. But then if he brain controls, does he have another Sor a third Sirocco? If he colludes it, we pop it. That's fine. We keep Raiko. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. I like Raikou. I don't want to waste my Raikou and leave it in attack mode versus Ashura. Now he's got to bring control and attack Raikou and give me it back. Unless he has a third of Sirocco, which I doubt. Because I'll just let him do that. I'll keep my fortress and I'll go to town next turn. Oh, we're working on that pot of Avarice, too. You know Gorge is going back. Now, I don't think... Gorge might not get dropped this game. Gores might not get dropped for a long time, if at all. And when it does, he probably has an out to it already at that point. I mean, he'll probably already have an out to it at that point. Oh, that's a good card. Yep, there's the Sidra. There's this. All right, I lied. Gores getting dropped real soon. Those are awful mills. Alright, that's a nice plus one. Two darks in grave. Drawing bad. Showing nothing. Yeah, Sidra good. Sidra's good. Didn't put him on that. that. I think I would have made the same play anyway, but I could have been patient. But I didn't want to take 36. I guess I could have probably taken 36, right? Oh, but now we get to do this play, most likely. Look at their graveyard like I'm pondering for a second. I'm thinking if I want to possibly do anything. Even though I know for a fact that I don't, I just want to make him think that I have something complex going on. I check his graveyard one more time. And we just let it go. Make him think that I came to a big conclusion about something this turn. But it's just a dust gores play. I guess now I could try to start putting on damage, right? But I don't, and then dust and oppression if that's what he has. But I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I don't really want to do that right now. I want to save the dust for an attack so I could drop gores and make him deal with it with other cards. And then if I force and bring back a uh, fortress and e oppressions, then I could actually activate pot of avars. Even though I don't know, I guess there's an argument, but he might just have bottomless or something too. It, it's uh, it could be anything, honestly, but I'd probably put it on one oppression, one bottomless, or one book, or something like that. But now that's what we have to think about, right? He set this one first. That, uh, I'm going to say that one's the problem. Oh, that was the oppression. All right, all right, all right. Well, if he colludes over, then... Well, he's not going to give him that chance, because... What if he put pulling the rug in? If he colludes over, this has to send to the graveyard. So, the token looks good. Collude would put him at three. I almost want to turn Gores to attack mode, not put him on Mirror Force, but I think that's kind of a stupid play. 
is it? Then he wastes his Kalu and can't get over Gores. It makes sense in my head. Hmm. What are they thinking about? What? Who is watching the game? A juicy tender bitch, yeah? Sunny? Sunny is watching Matt, my teammate, Joey, and Booty. I will take the 14, yeah? much deeper do I want to go with this? If I summon gear frame into a bottomless or a pulling, that's fine. I'm still clearing cards off the field. He still has, now he has three darks. Maybe I force something, but maybe he has a dust set actually. That's <sighs> tough. It's just torrential. I really want to get this pot of avarice off now, before, but he had oppression. Is he going to do that? He doesn't have two. Hmm. Would he set a second oppression, or is this fortress just going to get bottomless? There's literally no reason to do that. I'm just going to set this and let him make his attack. There's no reason. He can't get over the gear frame, I don't think. Unless he has, like, Blizzard or Dark Arm. Blizzard's fine if he does. I can't do anything to either one. What am I going to do? Put these cards on the field so he could set his cards or play Dark Arm and then... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I was in a good spot. Okay, that's pretty good, I think. I mean, it's not good in the sense that we absolutely need to kill that next turn, but it is good in the sense that we have plays. Blizzard? Okay. Okay. That's pretty good, right? That's damn good. What's he thinking about? What's he gonna do on the summon? Not. Yeah, that's good. So even if I drop Fortress last turn, Torrential puts him at four. I don't know. Yeah, it's still pretty rough. What does chat think? Well, yeah, he got the value, so now he kind of has to get Kalu. But we're going to draw Heavy Storm right now off this pot of Avarice and win the game, I think. Even if he has Icarus Attack, we're going to draw a Gear Frame or something. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Honestly, we're looking a little scary right now. But he has a value in his hand, and whatever's on the field is not. I, it's just the back row. It's literally just the back row that are scary. But we have pot havers coming up, so I don't know, I don't know. It's not great. 
two very hard games that I have to try to play pretty precisely to win. I still feel like we're in a good spot this game. I'd rather not go to game three, but Z's has a problem, yeah? And Whirlwind's still on the field. Dude, let me see the storm. Let me see the storm, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it. Let me not see a solemn judgment on you, boy. He's putting this back in my hand? Oh, he's putting... Dark Arm Dragon back in his hand with... Yeah, that's good. That's very good. With three docks in the graveyard, yeah, you have to drop it now, son, but it's main phase two, yeah. I'm going to kill these monsters next turn, yeah? Yeah, that's good. This is rough, boys. This is rough. Remember me when I top deck this heavy storm and win the game. not the cards you want to see. Yeah, those are just not the cards you want to see. Oh, you gotta play it out, though. Could summon Trooper try to mill one more? What am I going to give up? No, we do not mill one more. Why did I set these and then I realized I could still attack? Yeah, that was stupid. I could have just attacked. I mean, I could win that game anyway. I started playing crazy, but that's okay. I think we want the dead book. They have cyber dragons, which is a little scary. And book doesn't really help in that situation, but... I think everything else looks pretty good. I look like Big Brain for setting my cards and seeing if he was gonna make his attack. Anyone that watches the replay is gonna see my cards were dead. And then I was looking just to get the knowledge of my read of an Icarus attack was right, of course. But that was just me not going through the sequencing correctly. What do I not want against him? I want all these good cards against him. I think I... Just want to shoot. Mills are good. Ugh, I love milling too much. I really take brain control out a lot. Let's think about this. I could just set the Raikou and Dust. I could set it in Bottomless. I could just set Bottomless. I could just set Dust. Well, we want a mill as soon as possible, right? Maybe he has Mind Control. Maybe he doesn't. Mind Control would be really bad if we set Dust Tornado, right? If I said nothing with it, and then he has Whirlwind. 
more odds that he has a whirlwind than he has uh, mind control, right? Two whirlwinds, one mind control. And Dust is going to cover a lot of stuff anyway. More import Most importantly, whirlwind. But he might just MST or have heavy too, so I guess those are... But I'm not going to set more than one right now. And if we mill three off the Raikou and hit a, a fortress, we're looking all right. Not like I want to use that to try to bank off of I don't I would rather not it is what it is what am I supposed to do with this with the set of cards not charge now there are two pots left dark arm is gone I'll gladly see a boar right now and go one for one and set up a hamster next turn now we draw sets a back row Set one more for your boy. Yeah. Only normal summon. Gosh, flab it. Do I have to do anything? He wanted to see my hand. I feel like I still have to keep the pressure on, right? I think that's safe. I think we're just going to play it safe. Safe as possible. Could have a lot of monsters in there. I want to see him. I want to see Sirocco, Bora, Bottomless, Dashu, and Allure. It's interesting. Could be a chainable card. Could start going for damage here. Could be a chainable card, it most likely is. That's so minus on my Raikou, right? I don't have to do anything, I really don't. I don't have to do anything. I like talking to my opponents, and all I get to say online is think. Normally, I'd be like, what is that? What's that back row? Is it MST to get my bottomless out of the way? But then, I can't do anything right. It's not even worth it to set the second Raikou yet. Because then he could just summon Nicarus Attack and get both my Raikos. Ugh. I hate ending when I could get in the driver's seat, but it's so minus. Like, I have to set Solomon Call, but then if he has Heavy Storm and a monster, we're so behind if we don't mill the fortress. That's just the absolute wrong way to play the game, I think. I think. Just afraid of my control is what it is. That's crazy. I'm so nervous. That is fine. You know, summon Kalu. Oh, he really did. Yeah, that's good. That ain't nothing to me. He's got one of them crappy black wing hands, and Dark Arm is gone, baby. I love a gear frame. <laughs> I love a gear frame. 
going to get a collude next turn. I think that back row is what we want to hit. He's going plus, but not on anything important. Yeah, I want to get that off there. Dust Gale Fortress. That's good. That's perfect. That is perfect, Zanya, because now we can get the Fortress back and, uh, if he colludes over this, yeah, now we're in a pretty good spot. You know, we're working on Avarice pretty soon. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Two back row. That's, okay, this isn't getting ugly. He'll be top deck to Avarice, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Do I want to go sick? Send Force to Special Summon Fortress, and then just set Raikou in, in the, the house. And start getting these back rows out of here. If he summons Gale, he gets Kalu, right? And then what does he do? Not much, especially if I set Raikou. But if he has Icarus attack, then that's kind of bad. If he has everything, it's kind of bad. He could have, have anything, anything. Deep Prison, Bottomless, Oppression. He could have a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff. But Blizzard's not doing him anything, and that's what he has. Blizzard, then he has to start attacking. start picking apart the back row. I want to see what they are. Even though I have Pot Avarice, the Raikou is going to mill me more, so I'm going to see what the... Unless he has my control. Unless he has my control. But I want to see. I still almost want to have Riz first, even with Call the Haunted. No, that's kind of stupid, right? And actually, it's not that stupid. Because he has a, a Blizzard, I thought it was Gale. It's, it is kind of stupid to do this now, but... If this game goes long, then the Call the Haunted will be fine. I don't think he has a pressure set with what with him just bottomless thing, unless I'm completely wrong. Alright, those are really good cards to see. If he has Icarus, then he has Icarus. If he has Delta Crow, then we're really in trouble. Let me see a Delta Crow in the end phase. Yeah, he's thinking about Icarus. No one plays Delta Crow. I'm the only one. I know I'm not. Yep. I think that's fine. Alright, we went first, we have five to their five, but we have dust and bottomless and they have a blizzard to get a Kalut back. And we have Raikou to take care of it. Yep, I'm gonna say that's fine. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I don't like this. We need a hamster stat. We need a hamster. If he has another Icarus, that sucks. If he has a third Icarus. This can't be Icarus. It has to be bottomless or deep prison. There's a good card. There's a dang good card. Could be Deep Prison, could be Book. He has a Vayu. 
Hmm, I still like setting Raiko. And then if they summon anything next turn, we could bottomless. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time with the Raikos, I think. And try to mill more so the call is live now. I buried myself in a little hole already with it. Might as well not make it worse. If we get that back row out of there, then we're in really good shape. If he attacks the Raiko, then Gear Frank could start just popping off, and then we have protection too. Unless he drew Heavy Storm. <sighs> Another card we have to worry about. Nothing on that, but we got a solemn out of the way. I don't know, boys. This is getting kind of scary. Is it a mist worm me? Grabs a clue. gonna take 16 but what do I get rid of if I Caius one thing next I can't get well yeah I can't Caius next turn gotta dust the face down right I could just get rid of the blizzard and I take 16 here puts me at 51 he has one Kalut I can get rid of the blizzard I can attack over the clue, remove the boar, and keep the dust for whatever he sets. So we get to keep that. Perfect, perfect, more of them. Well, now we're looking all right, I think. Not the play I want to make, but it'll have to do. It's a Vayu and a Kaloob. He's going to summon the Kaloob and I could dust the Whirlwind. It's gone. They have a Kalu in a value. Need another good top deck next turn, unless he has nothing and he summons the Kalu. This is a very nerve wracking game. Black Wings are so tough. Like, in my head, they have too many cards. And I need to save a dust for another back row, but they have so many. They might just have brain control, too. I know they have Kalu, I know they have Vayu. One Kalu's there, that's a dark arm back there. Yeah, I think that's game. If I let it go through, I kind of have to let them clue over me. I don't want to, but I kind of have to, right? He doesn't have anything in there, and he has value, so he's going to have to get the third clue or Gale out of his deck, but Armor Master's going to be pretty good. 
Unless he passes and lets me attack into him. I don't know what I want more. Uh, a fortress next turn? Or a back row? I guess it depends if they attack or not. <sighs> That's rough. That might be game. 42, yeah. 56. Yeah. What could I do? Wow, that was rough. I don't know what I could have done differently. Hmm, I'm going to have to go back and watch that. Ugh. Grindy, grindy, rough game one. We pull it out somehow. And then thought we were up game two and kind of watched them come back. And then uh, just came right back and feel like they completely turned the tables. And that game three never really felt like I had advantage. Because they had that whirlwind going off, even for the smaller stuff. Blizzard was just... All the cards are just putting pressure on, and my card, my deck couldn't really... I don't know. I guess there's an argument to be made about how the Game 3 went, about the saving Call of the Haunted and not potting sooner, but I think the pressure is getting put on me. I already set the Raikko, and then they're hit after that, though. Yeah, that's rough. I gotta rewatch that. It's a tough loss. Wow. So, tough one, but hope you learned something from it. Hope I learned something from it when I go back and watch it and even during it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you like any other plays more, that's a tough loss. And I feel bad. Uh, sorry to my teammates for, for not being able to bring home the dub. But we'll see you guys next week. Good luck in your matches.